Hello, this video is to show the possibilities of the new component on, of the Ladybug set the view, which you can find here in the extra tab of Lady View. First, for uh, the beginning of the, this video, I prepared a model, and uh, what we want to check in this video is the solar axis for both open spaces and open and interior space. So let's say that I'm interested in to see how much sun is accessing this open area and this open area and this interior space that I define here. So I recommend you to define a few points uh, in advance that will serve afterwards as uh, points of view, camera points of view. To begin with, I, I'm just uh, uh, opening or defining a component for reading the weather file for some uh, place. And I predefine also the SAMPAD uh, component, uh, defining the uh, Let's say that I'm interested in uh, office hours from starting from 8 a.m. until uh, 5 p.m. for the whole year. So I'm receiving here. I'm receiving here the samples for those are, uh, hours that I define, and I also want to uh, filter or to show the normal radiation for those hours. So I'm connecting from the weather file a component to the SAMPAD annual hourly data just to show me at which hours I'm getting more uh, uh, direct radiation and or less uh, uh, direct radiation. I also want to uh, define the center point of the SAMPAD as one of the uh, points of view that I previously shown. One is here, you can see it is selected the first one, the second one, the third one is inside the space. So I can uh, quickly in this way jump and change the location of the center of the sun path very easily and quickly. I will explain later why I'm doing this. So here is the use of the new uh, component, the set view, set the view component, and the set view component is uh, uh, needs four inputs. One is the camera location, the second one is the camera direction, the look around, and the length length of the camera. The idea here in this in this uh, for this video is to uh, create a view looking from the uh, point of interest, which in this case will be the center point where the sampath is located, towards the sun. Uh, in this way, we will, we will be able to see the uh, sampath above us, and we can uh, uh, know exactly which hours are exposed or, or which sun hours we are receiving in the specific point we are checking. So for this purpose I'm going to connect uh, the first one is the sun vectors which we received as an output from the sun path and connecting it to the uh, camera direction which is the uh, sun position. The second one will be the sun path centers. They will represent the camera location. The, you see that the perspective is automatically changing. We will take care of this in a second. The uh, look around will make the define the direction of the view and the length lens length which will uh, create for us like an uh, is not exactly like a fish a fish eye but is opening the field of view from the lens. So uh, 
if we play a little bit with this, we can see the influence of the lens length. So we want a wide angle. And with the MD slider, we can move around and see uh, the amount of sky and the amount of uh, sun hours that we are receiving or at least we can differentiate which hours of the sun which sun hours are accessing the specific point we are located on in the same manner we can go and check the second point the second open space which is located here point of view and see uh, very nicely which buildings are uh, obstructing the sun access at which hour so we can see here or here or here at which times the sun is hitting on this open space or at which times those neighbor buildings are uh, uh, hiding the sun we can go ahead and look the view from the interior space which is also a very nice view you see that automatically the view is jumping to the point of view of the interior space and in the same manner we can see exactly or very nicely the amount of hours and which hours are uh, accessing the, the interior space at the specific point of view. Uh, what I want to check here also uh, is different alternatives of uh, shading devices for these openings. So if we have we have a side view of the of these windows, we can see here the one alternatives are like a small sun shades horizontal another alternative will be the same but tilted and the other one the same close another alternative will be an horizontal just an horizontal uh, deep uh, and shape and the last one is a, a, a more deep uh, horizontal shading device so if we are using this and we want to check, we can see here the first alternative, the horizontal shading devices, how much they are looking at into uh, the sun, or how much at which hour the sun is accessing the open space. And at which hours the sun shades are uh, blocking the sun from entering the space. So if I ask for the others and shading devices, we can see how much they are blocking the sun. Just one more word about this component is how it works. Just uh, uh, be sure that the perspective view is the active view, and if you uh, uh, press F6, which is show camera, you see what's happening in the other ports, in the other viewports, you receive the camera uh, in geometry of the camera, so you can see uh, the different views, and you can see here when I change the UV look around what's happening with the camera. What's happening with the camera? What's happening with the camera is that it the the camera location remains in place and is just looking to different places. It's like you are moving your head but you are uh, standing on place so you don't get you don't maybe you don't get 
uh, you get a, a distorted view, but the whole geometry is moving around with you, so uh, you can be sure that what you are getting here is the correct information. So thank you for watching.